Everybody, it's Video Bob, and um, today I'm talking about Doc Martin boots. I've always loved wearing these. I've, I've had this one pair, this pair probably, gosh, um, 10 or 15 years. Uh, these are steel toe. This is like the, the Rebel, the, the, the Rawhide. You know, these are thick. They got like a really thick interior. They're virtually indestructible. Ew, they got this kind of goo on the bottom. Anyway, um, you know, I've always been a fan of the Doc Martin boots. They're just, they're comfortable. They're virtually indestructible. I always wear the steel toe boots, which are heavy, to try to protect my feet because I'm diabetic. Back when I used to work at my restaurant that I used to own about 10 years ago, I wore uh, those boots at the kitchen, and they're great for slippery services. They're great for uh, resisting chemicals. You can pretty much walk through anything with them. But I want to talk a little bit about, you know, uh, just some of the cool boots that I have and why it is that I love them. You know, Doc Martens has been around since about 1901 and uh, they've been making their boots for a very long time. And when I was growing up in the eighties, I always thought that they were kind of high tech. Let me find yeah, this, this right here is a real traditional um, uh, Doc Martin boot. This is called the Ox Blood and uh, has, you know, sort of, this is not necessarily their traditional tread pattern, but does have their their the, this uh, polyurethane sole. It says oil, fat, acid, petrol, alkali resistant. The air cushion sole. Now this one is special because this one is actually made in England. Uh, because most Doc Martens aren't made in England. They're either made in China or they're made in Thailand or different places like that. They have different plants all over the world depending on the style of the type of boot. But this particular one is the made in England one. And these are actually handmade in the same plant, in the same place where they've always made them. Uh, you know, by handcraft leather workers, right? Now, what makes these things interesting is, you know, the, the, they, the way they make these soles, there's a great video out there on YouTube, and maybe I'll put a link to it, because this is not a paid endorsement. This is just me talking about boots. Uh, but there was a great video that I watched that kind of shows how they they form this piece of plastic and then uh, they mill this out with a machine. They cut, you know, they, 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 this gets cut out. But the this entire sole gets sewn to the boot. They call this welting, you know, and then there's this uh, triple stitching through here. And, and uh, you know, this is just genuine good old... I mean, these this pair of leather boots would last you... 50 years, I think. I mean, you know, unless you walk weird, have a, a bad gait, and you grind down the heels or something, which is a problem that I have, uh, the, the physical boot itself should last longer than you live. And I'm not making a joke about that. But these are the ox blood. They don't really make a red boot for men. They make red boots for children and women. And I say that because, Doc Martens, I'm talking to you, I would love a patent leather shiny red boot. I would love it. I would buy it right now, but they don't make them for men. It seems like all the really flamboyant styles, they only make for children and women. Maybe they're trying to tell me something because I would damn Skippy rock some red glitter boots. They just don't make them for men. They only make them in the small women's sizes. Um, you know, I wear a size 13, which is a UK 12. But uh, I don't know. There's a little bit of pride when it says made in England. I'm like, yes, because the rest of them... You know, the steel toes like these, these say, uh, these are made in China, you know, so they're made in China, but they're still very, very good, good boots. Uh, here's one that I picked up that was really cool. Now I recommend that if you're interested in some of the cool boots, like you're seeing, most of the ones I'm showing you, sadly, you can't get because what they'll do is they'll do like a small run of a certain boot. So if you were really interested in Doc Martin boot fashion, and you are like, oh, I wish I could get those. You have to be on their mailing list. And just about every week, they'll send out a mailing list of some new boot design they have. And they're usually short runs, and you better buy it right then. Because by the time you order it, and by the time you get it and try it on, if you go back to get another pair or something, and they're sold out, because that happened to me today. I just got a new pair of boots delivered today. I put them on, and I go, oh my God, these are so great. I'm going to go order an extra pair just in case, uh, just for save them for later. And they were already sold out. So you have to be on their mailing list. Just go to docmartins.com, Dr. Martins, and get on their mailing list. Anyway, this boot is really cool. This is their British flag boot. 
it's it's kind of dirty because I've been wearing it. You know, this is uh, I think they call this the smooth. Um, this is uh, this is this one's made in Thailand, and these are all based on what they call their fourteen sixty design, which is what this is. You know, this is their their standard kind of boot design. You know, the design is pretty much the same. This one has the cool uh, Union Jack British flag on it. Uh, same basic kind of pattern as that other one I showed you before. It's called the original. Uh, uh, and like I said, this one, this one's made in Thailand. This seems like some of their fancier, more detailed boots they do in Thailand and some of the other simpler ones they do in China, uh, the more industrial ones. And I think that's because probably a lot of industrial workers in China might be wearing those boots and they probably make them there to serve them there. Whereas, uh, I find a lot of some of the best leather work that and and fancy stuff like that that you can get in the world is from Thailand. Uh, my this wallet of mine, this thing is made of stingray and great white shark. I shit you not. And uh, I got this was made in Thailand and cost me like two hundred bucks. This cool like paisley pattern in here and. And this was completely custom made to spec. I, I told them exactly what I wanted. I mean, they kind of had the design and everything. But this wallet is badass. Thailand. And it's amazing quality. And for 200 bucks? I know it seems like a lot for a wallet, but come on. Th 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 look at this thing. Anyway, let me show you another really awesome boot. Uh, this one is one that I wear in my Judas Priest tribute band. For those of you who don't know, don't follow me. I am a singer in a Judas Priest tribute band. One of the many jobs I do, I sing the Rob Halford part. And uh, I also have an 80s cover band called Video Bob and the Radio Stars. And we, we do gigs with our DeLorean time machine. And I build the cars and I do all these things. So, But anyway, these are the ones I wear on stage when I'm performing as Judas Priest. And uh, let's see, these are, where are these made? These are made in Vietnam. We're just spinning the wheel here. They're all over the place. But these have the original soles on them. You can see there's hardly any wear. I only wear these on stage. Um, these are very, very stiff. I mean, and these are real studs too. I mean, so they've had to put a, a liner in here to back these, these studs. And it's like, it's, I mean, I haven't counted them, but there's a lot. Now I have noticed that, you know, even though it is a, called a, four, it's a 1460 design, you only have two rows of stitching here whereas you would normally have three. That's interesting. So they're not as well built. These wouldn't be good boots uh, to be w everyday wearing boots that you would wear. Like if you were a punk rocker and you were in, these would wear out kind of fast, I think, because of the design of them. There's a lot of structural uh, integrity loss with all these studs and things, but they look cool as shit. Uh, good luck finding these. You won't find them. And uh, they're, they're just... They're just really awesome. All right, here's another one that I picked up. This is a, this is a canvas. It's an ox blood canvas style. Now this is, you know, it's kind of like their 1460 design, but it's a canvas shoe. Doesn't have their standard sole on it. It has a, has a rubber sole. These are really cheap. You know, the, the sole is glued on. It's not stitched. And this really doesn't clap. It really doesn't fit in the classification of their boots. It's just sort of in the shape of their boots. Um, and where, where is this made? Let's see. Vietnam. But I bought these because they were on sale. They were super cheap. And I thought this would be a great summer boot. They're very lightweight, very comfortable. Uh, and I really like the, you know, one thing I don't like about some of these other boots is, is the stiffness of the, the, the ankle collar up here. Like these, they don't move. These are, this is stiff as a brick. And, and these, uh, and the made in England ones, this thick leather, it takes a really long time to soften these up. And a matter of fact, I, I do a process on these where there's a couple of different leather softeners that you can get. You can rub them down with mink oil, saddle soap. There's a lot of different things out there that you can do. But I did a lot of leather softening to this to get it this pliable, because when you get it, it's hard as a brick. All right, these are the ones I just got today, and they're already sold out. I'm totally teasing you with these. You can't even buy them. I mean, you could run to, Maybe run to Doc Martens right now. Last I saw, they had a, they had some 14 men's and I think some 10s, and then they had some women's, but they're probably all sold out. But these are celebrating the Chinese New Year of 2019, and I had to have these. Uh, 
I love the suede. These are so soft. They're so soft. Oh, they're so soft. But they've got a red sole, just like me. It's the standard original sole, but in clear translucent red with a black top welting with red stitching. You gotta be, now they don't come with red laces. All of the boots that I've shown you here all have red laces in them. Docs don't ever come with red laces. They come with black or sometimes I've seen them do a yellow and black, but I'm putting the red laces in. Now that's not a political statement. It's not uh, anything other than a fashion statement. I just love the color of black and red. I know that back in the eighties and things, there was gangs and, and things like that. Like you had the Crips and the Bloods and they had red and blue. There were, uh, uh, skinheads and other gangs they use different color combinations to you know and if you do a little bit of research and learn there was a certain way they tied their shoes there was a certain way the laces went there was a certain way they wore suspenders they didn't wear them on their shoulders they wore them or, you know so i've had people bring up the fact that i like red laces and suspenders it has nothing to do with the skinheads uh, it has to do with i like fucking red okay i like red and black. i have a black cadillac with red brakes it just looks cool uh, I have a red cup. I have I have my glasses that I normally wear when I'm wearing glasses. They're black and red. Uh, I just like black and red. Is that anything wrong with that? And when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, these are so awesome. Now they do have the Chinese New Year embroidered here on them. Uh, and where are they made? They are made in, made in fucking Thailand. You'd think the Chinese New Year boots would be made in China. Nope, Thailand. But this, this, it's called soft buck, but this is the softest material I've ever seen Doc Martens put out as far as a leather goes. I'm guessing that's leather. I mean, yeah, it's gotta be leather. This, the tongue is like a canvas or it's got, or it's got a canvas interior. It doesn't say. It just says Doc Martens made in Thailand. Um, yeah, so they've got, Oh, so what they do is they give you a little symbol. So they have a symbol for a cowhide. That's, so yeah, it's made of cow. But yeah, if I hadn't been a member of their email program, I would have never gotten these. And uh, so the deal is, is basically what I'm trying to say, folks, is if you're a fan of the Doc Martin boots and you like the other styles that you might see celebrities wearing or other things like that, the only way to get them is to be on their email program set up an account on there. And this is what I do. If, if, if you're new to the internet world, or maybe you're, you haven't figured this out, you need to have at least three emails. You have your actual personal email that you use for actual stuff. And then you have a totally bullshit email that you, whenever you sign up for something, you send it to that. And then you have like a business email that's for important stuff, you know? Uh, so, I have this bullshit email that I've had since, I don't know, 1996. And I use it for whenever you have to sign up for something and they require an email and they're gonna send you a code and then you're gonna be automatically enrolled in something. I always use that. So it gets hundreds of spam messages a day. Uh, and the other thing that I advise is to use a paid email service. I use Hotmail, but you can pay extra for extra storage and filtering. And it really does help, it works. So I don't get, hardly any spam in my personal email box. But anyway, uh, that's beside the point. Uh, that's how I get my Doc Martin boots. Somebody asked me about, you know, they had seen some of my boots before. Now, I also have a lot of other shoes. You've seen me do reviews of other shoes on here. I'm kind of into shoes. You know, you wouldn't think it. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the, you know, for a straight guy, I'm into a lot of gay shit. Uh, but um, I love shoes. I love clothes. I love Robert Graham shirts. I love his stuff. I wear his stuff when I go out. I have some Robert Graham shoes, which are very hard to find. I have some Prada shoes. I have a couple of different pair of Prada shoes. I have one pair that I wear on stage as uh, with my 80s band that are spiked and studded. And then I have some uh, Versace uh, red shoes, red and black shoes. Um, and some of these were very expensive. I mean, I think the most expensive pair of shoes I have were about $1,400. Uh, but most of these uh, Doc Martens, they run about 150 bucks, 140 dollars somewhere in there. You can, I think, those spiky study ones were maybe 200 bucks, you know. But generally, the, and and that's kind of expensive. But I remember growing up in the 80s as a kid, uh, Doc Martens were always kind of a high tech kind of boot to me, because you know, regular you you go buy some, you go to the Walmart or Kmart and get some regular work boots, and they would be like 
you know, tan yellow color with black rubber sole and they'd last you about six months and they'd hurt your feet, something terrible. Uh, and then Doc Martens came along and they were expensive and they were made specifically to cushion the soles of your feet and to protect your toes. And they had that high tech, clear, translucent polyurethane rubber bottom and they were well stitched and well made. And quite frankly, they were, you know, f for the rich kids, you know, I couldn't afford a pair of hundred dollar boots back then. So to get a pair of Doc Martens was a big, big deal. I remember I got some for Christmas in like 1992 and I was just, uh, couldn't believe it, you know? So anyway, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of different boots out there that, that people are into and shoes and things like that. The Doc Martens, um, uh, maybe that's more of a British thing, more of a punk thing. I don't know. That's just cause that's where they came from, but you just can't go wrong with a good old fashioned Doc Martin boot. They make some professional looking ones as well as the more rugged looking ones. They feel great. They last a long time. And they just have so many different styles now. So so check out their website. Again, this is not a paid endorsement in any way. Uh, and uh, I'm just a fan. Doc Martens, if you see this video, please send me some free shit. I wear a size 13. U.S. men's. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I'm Video Bob. Hey, thanks for tuning in and uh, being a subscriber. We've doubled the amount of subscribers we've had in this year and uh, had a lot of great fun on here and we've got a lot of amazing stuff coming up this summer so stay tuned and uh you know i, I kind of hate asking for I, I hate it when i watch a video and you see these guys for the first five minutes of their video sucking your dick trying to get you to click subscribe and the fucking notification bell and all that and just blah, we get it we know so i'm gonna stop saying that i'm gonna make a vow to stop saying that shit anyway i'll catch you later i'm video bob Ha <laughs> ha.